Greetings from Goblin Valley, Nissedal, Norway. I'm here so you don't have to be. And today we will be talking about this Xomo GT Laser 255S. Yes, it has a laser. It looks and behaves like a stealthy, no, not stealthy, like a ninja dressed in a Christmas tree. The question is, is all this just a gimmick or is it a serious mod? I think it is more serious than anyone up to now believes. So let's go inside and have a closer look at it. Sorry folks about the act. I did not mean to scare any of you. No, I have not become one of those guys. Um, I'm here to give you a proper review of this uh, mod because it really deserves it. And I, I, I don't know why none of the uh, big guys have, uh, haven't done a review of it. Because this is some piece of equipment. It's, it's, it's so gimmicky at first look. But I, I, I've used this very actively now for, uh, for over a week. And I can tell you it's more to this than the gimmicky stuff, especially in use. So this is the box the Xomo or Sumo comes in. And you know, when I first um, heard about this one, saw that it, it only costed about $60 and it, that it came in this nice little suitcase. I realized I had to have it because this is going to be a cult object, definitely. Uh, you know, a, a, a mod with a laser and three gears. Yes, you heard me correctly. Three gears. So uh, let's have a look at it. This mod has Zumo written all over it on the <coughs> after sales uh, service card, on the uh, user manual, on this quality certificate. You know, this is actually stamped past only one month ago from the factory. That's awesome. Uh, in the box you will find uh, this um, mini USB cable with uh, aluminium contacts stamped Xumu. Let's look at the um, user manual. I'm just holding it like this so you can freeze the um, frame and you can read all the goodies for your Self. And uh, warning, laser, it's waterproof, but not all equipment waterproof, and so on and so forth. This is the box, the Sumo GT Laser 255. Yes. The measurements of the mod is uh, 30, 50 and 90 this way. It has a 98% transfer rate. It has, has a 510 connection and the width of this is 24 so uh, a bigger atomizer than that will have uh, it will not hang over these plates, but it will hang over this plate. 
the 510 connection is um, uh, spring loaded. Uh, there you see the laser head. This is the firing switch, which is very tiny and very clickety. These are the two uh, switches that you can flip uh, in three position on each of them. We'll come back to that. The battery is a 3500 milliamps uh, battery and it can deliver from 3 to 5 volts according to the user manual. And uh, the wattage is regulated from 1 to 150 watts, which is a strange thing to say because this switch only lets you choose from 50, 100 and 150 watts. But I guess if you put a 3-4 uh, ohm uh, coil on it, uh, the max of 150 watts is not possible. So. Um, yeah, the uh, switches. This is now in the off position. One click makes a beep and you have a red and a blue flash of light. There they go again when you turn it off and in the on position. If you flick this on and off switch to the top the laser is now activated by pressing the fire button. And you can see it up here going on and off. The uh, lights flashes in a cycle. And it's the same cycle of flashing when you wait the uh, sequence of flashing does not change with the power setting. So if you flip this switch off again, you are now in the off position and there are no more lights. With an RDA on top, we can uh, fire it. So we can flip it on like so. If you flip this up, you have 100 watts and it gives two very loud beeps. One beep and one flash is the first gear, according to the Chinese. The second, two beeps and two blinks and on 150 watts, you guessed it, three blinks and three beeps. When you fire this thing, up here you have a third light. You have one blue and one red, that actually doesn't tell you uh, very much. But this um, elongated, it looks like a fuse. This light up here has four colors. And those are important. If you fire it, now I think it will light blue up here. Oh, actually green. That means I have uh, within 80% of battery left. 80% uh, to 100% left. When this uh, uh, goes below 80% uh, of battery life, it glows blue. And this is not a linear uh, gauge in any way. When it starts to glow red here, you have about 10 draws left of battery life. And when you charge it, it blinks red, then it blinks blue, and when you're up to 80%, it blinks green. And that takes about uh, 1 hour and 15 minutes, and that's rather fast. But to go from 80% to 100, then this glows white steady. That takes another three hours to top of the cap, to top of the ca tank, so to speak. 
that takes from 80% to 100%, that takes three hours. The first issue you will encounter with uh, this mod is that these glass, uh, plastic, sorry, plastic panels, they will get vapor on the inside of them. It's not difficult to take them off, but it is fiddly. And I will tell you why, because I've done it twice already. On this battery side, you have to loosen the outer screws, all four of them, and take this off and clean this plate off. Then you have to loosen screws on the inside. You can see one of them right under uh, there. And you have to loosen each corner of the circuitry board from this side. Then very carefully, while supporting the battery, you see these thin wires from the laser up, uh, up to the on-off switch. They uh, will, uh, the, the whole module in the center will dangle about and without support when you have loosened the circuitry board. So support the battery and keep the board within the frame. Turn it around and loosen these outer screws on the other side and take this panel off and place your mod very carefully on a table. And of course, <laughs> have this turned off during this process. I don't know if there are capacitors here, but if there are, this is dangerous. So uh, do it like I said, you have to loosen 12 screws to get loose the back panel and then you can clean it. It's not important to clean the mod, but uh, once in a while you have you, you realize you miss the beautiful electronics and you want to look at it and uh, go to a party and show it off. Well, then loosen the 12 screws, uh, polish inside and outside of both panels and screw it uh, back together. It's, it's really, it's fiddly, but it's not hard to do. Now, regarding uh, how it actually works, I really can't tell you because I don't know. But when this is set to the lowest setting, you hear a clickety sound very, very fast when you fire it. It's very faint, so it won't record, but you can hear it when you put your ear to it. And I think this is a pulse modulation uh, regulation of power. It says the battery delivers 3 to 5 volts. My guess is that it delivers 5 volts, but in pulses when you have the 50 and 100 watt settings. Like the Zurich X, X safe uh, mod. You hear it clickety faster and faster when you ramp it up, but on this one you only hear the lower setting uh, uh, pulsing. But they have to use, or maybe they use a combination of stuff, because this is watt regulated, not volt regulated. The other indication that this is a pulse uh, regulated uh, mod that pumps out max volt all the time, is that when you go full tilt on this, setting 3, 150 watts, when it quits, it uh, blinks uh, 10 times with the blue light and give a beep and tell you you're out of battery. On other uh, mods like the Yihi uh, SX uh, Mini G-Class, uh, you can go lower in wattage and it will fire until the battery drops to that voltage. On this one, if you're out of power in one setting, you are out of power in all the other settings. So I think the electronics on this is more pulse regulated than actually volt regulated. Being uh, regulated in that way is actually quite cool because it means that this fires faster. So uh, it will pump max voltage, I think, uh, all the time from from the get-go, from the first uh, press of the button. I know what you must be thinking now. 
Owen has gone finally mad and he has betrayed us all. And he's gone bonkers from cabin fever and left his beautiful handmade Filipino mods and airflow experiments and all the science for this gimmicky, cheapo thing from China. Yes, I have and no, I haven't. This is a great mod in use. The first thing is that it is lightning fast. It's full power all the time because I think it pulses. And um, the second thing is that uh, all the volt regulated mods, because there are no displays or, or push buttons or fine adjustments, it's just 50, 100 or 150 watts. That's what you get. Now, if you like, uh, it's in use, it, it, it stopped being gimmicky and it's, it's just genius. If you use round wire, regular wire or flat wire, you would like to take your first draw on the middle setting, like 100 watts, like so. Because you start from cold, then you just you do this and you take a slower draw. Because now the cotton and e juice is heated up. And you continue your vaping exercise. On the lowest setting. When your Blade Runner movie or Alien movie or anything really sciencey, flashy, sci-fi is, is going on and you get really excited towards the end, you can of course just hit the uh, middle setting and wipe your heart out. And celebrate with a little laser show. So if you use a Clapton coil, you start off with 150 watts on your first draw. I dare not do that on a hyper effective uh, flat wire coil. I'll give you just a second draw. Now that was hot. So, if, but if you use Clapton coils, you put the first draw on 150 and then you just click down. No fiddly screws, no dialing up or down, no displays. Just hit the switch after your first draw. Because you have heated all the juice and the coils and cotton and everything up. And you know, it, it took me like two or three minutes to realize how genius this mod is. I bought it because I thought it would be a rare cult object, but when I started to use it, it is so much more and it will be even cultier if there is such a word. So I have all positive things to say about this. And it being so cheap, uh, you should just run out and buy it. Now, if you th think you can use the laser and send beams across the room, forget it. You will never produce so much weight. But if you ha have five cool friends and sit in a little cupboard, vaping along, uh, then you will have some laser action. But not on a regular basis. So the laser, yes, it's gimmicky. But the rest of it is very, very solid. Yeah.